There's a church in Philadelphia with carpet so iconic that it is said when you step on it for the first time, it gives you supernatural powers of rock god proportions. This is the first Unitarian Church of Philadelphia. Rolling Stone featured it as one of the country's top alternative rock venues in 2007 and its legacy has only grown ever since. It was constructed for spirituality, but it is most known for its mosh pit brutality. And today, that's what this video is all about. Hey ladies, how's it going? Dan Frampton here, and before we roll on, how's it about you like and subscribe? Okay, let's roll on. No Pressure is a pretty hyped melodic hardcore band right now, and they just put out their debut LP. But is it hype enough to make Philadelphia slam? Let's head to the FU Church to find Find out. OP, Feet First Productions. All right, let's hit the pit. Buckets of Sunshine is gonna start us off with a plancha. And then Sweet and Philly Tornilly with a tope. Sweat Lodge is making Rob Van Dam proud in Philadelphia with a frog splash. Sensible Sensation. He's got his rod in his tackle box. It's Sid Fishes. Marine Corpse with a modified hip attack. Steak Sauce with a tope suicida. Battle Axe hits a running combo knee elbow drop. A flying headlock takedown from the bouncing bouncer. Nargod with a lo fi suicida, bruh. Scrap Heap with a beefy elbow drop taking out the entire Dorky Marks Club. And from the ECW arena, it is a Paul Heyman guy himself. It is the guy that Philadelphia named their hockey club after. It is the Philadelphia Flyer hitting his classic Tope Con Hilo. With a few more reps, this guy might become a legitimate slammer, but for now, he's just an army jobber. Now you wanna see a real slammer? Here's Buckets of Sunshine. And another real deal slammer, it's Sid Fishes. This guy's a real athlete, ladies. And so is this next guy. It's Earthquaker with a bicycle kick tope. All the way from 1996, it's Eric Lindros. Love Bomb with a starfish plancha. Massive Cope Con Hilo from Leg Day. Parker Cannon with a posy jump. Very clinical. And then Nargod comes back in with a tope. But Steak Sauce, Scrap Heap, and the Philadelphia Flyer battle it out for pit supremacy. He's almost there. Here comes Army Jobber. Earthquaker with a natural disaster, Tope Suicida. It's good to see that Revelation sent their A&R guy to do some scouting. And then check out this steezy as fuck hip attack. Parker Cannon hits a bicycle kick headwalk. That's right, the lead singer, the front man, the vocalist of this band did a bicycle kick headwalk during the set. You heard that sentence correctly, but there's no way you're gonna believe it without seeing it. So, see it. Monitor launch fakey sent on, very effective. Rugby with a scrum dog tope eats a little shit along the way. Camp Counselor Jared. Is that a modified tope elbone? I think it is. Copper tone with an SPF tope. Senton from Leg Day. Tope Con Hilo from the Philadelphia Flyer. He loves that move, I tell ya. Parker Cannon with a picture perfect, beautiful, gorgeous hero flip. And now Fence Hopper uses his fence hopping skills for more than just hopping fences to swim in illegal swimming pools. Here he is to hop around this mosh pit a little bit. A and R guy teams up with the bouncing bouncer. Very classic for a label guy. Bake on Hilo. The bouncing bouncer bounces back to bounce again. The AR fake out. If you're in a band, you're familiar with this move. 
Now it is clear to me that Parker Cannon really did graduate from slam school, cause check out this two step. Leg day, using them legs homeboy. Decent little elbow drop. Pixie dust comes into the pit. Scrap heap just being a heap of muscles and masculinity. Smooth long distance tope. Very impressive. Mike Von Hop with some Mike Time Hops. Parker Cannon's a beautiful slammer. Another 10 out of 10 posse jump. The Philadelphia Flyer is flying around here like Vic Grimes in the year 2000. Earthquaker was born to shake the city of brotherly love down to its bloody core. And our guy with the plancha. Oh my god, that Sid Fishes is a nasty motherfucker. Mike Von Hopp is one hell of an athletic competitor. Mike Hopp recovers as Earthquaker gets some well-deserved mic time as he surfs in on his belly. We'll get right back to the slams in a second, but first, I want to read some super thanks. These both come in on my edgy band names video. Trash Can Jam says, love the top 10. Yup, thumbs up emoji. And Justin Larson says, great calls, lots of cringe and lols in this video. I was waiting for Limp Biscuit, but I guess they didn't make the cut. And no, nah, they didn't. I thought of them, but they weren't even in the top 20. All right, let's get back to the video. Dead legend with a backsplash. What a maneuver. Huge plancha, somebody get the stretcher. Anal bead ponytail. Surfing her way into the hearts and butts of everybody in America. Earthquaker with a long lateral leaping Lucha Libre Tope Suicida. Followed by a crushing rolling surfboard. Sometimes you don't want to mess with the classics. Sometimes the traditional standard Tope will do the trick. Plancha. Twisting tornado from Jack Russell. Oh my god, buckets of sunshine. So much vitamin D. Everybody is ready for that sun, so here comes a little flurry. Now we love to see people out there just having the time of their life, just having so much fun, and it's written all over her face. This is joyous Jesse Sweetheart. Leon Lush wakes up and realizes he's not in a YouTube video anymore. He's in a pretty ravenous mosh pit. Like a perfect arc, here comes Roman Doorway. Earthquaker with a pit climb belly flop roll down. Suicida Gorgissimo. This guy looks like total piss compared to Earthquaker. Reckless Ragdoll knows how to throw his body around with the best of them, though. But if you're fixing to fuck around, here comes the Philadelphia Flyer. In hockey, we would call this the deke. Sid Fishes gets high as fuck. That's not where fishes go. And like a good pair of Wranglers, here comes Dad Butt Tope. I hope everybody's got the aloe, because all the sunshine in this bucket of sunshine is going to leave everybody burnt to a crisp. Leg Day Boing's into action. Rugby Tope. Oh my god, this Sid Fishes guy is vicious. Corner squash from the stylish stylist. Very you manga. Please, somebody stop Sid Fishes. He's just out there spamming power attacks, and the sad thing is, it's working. The Philadelphia Flyer is out to save this pit. Not this guy, though. This guy's collateral damage. The buckets of sunshine knows he's gonna need to come in because Sid Fishes is gonna fucking destroy everybody if all the good guys don't come together.
And after that huge tear, he throws a beautiful Bomayaini strike. This might be enough to rally the troops, and here comes Pixie Dust. We have enough baby face power here to destroy the evil heel that is Sid Fishes. And can you believe the stamina, the pure cardio of the Philadelphia Flyer? Thank God the city has this guy. And as we near the end of the set, every slammer needs to come together to get justice. This is the Justice Flurry. And then they start spamming dives, first with a plancha, and then a tope suicida, and then Earthquaker joins the mix. And all of that is still not enough to keep down the evil, the dastardly Sid Fishes. They throw a technical tope at him. They throw goon style topes at him. Then a mahoose of elbow drop. And then finally, an Uso bro does a massive snap flip, and I think it's enough to keep down Sid Fishes. And indeed it was enough to keep down Sid Fishes. Thank God the city is safe. For the first time ever, it is unprecedented. The whole city of Philadelphia wins this one for coming together to vanquish that evil, that fishy Mr. Fishes. But it wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for the valiant and gallant leadership of the Philadelphia Flyer. Big ups for rallying them troops. I love this venue, I love this band, I loved all these slams. This set was just dripping in intense emotion.